Kiitokset edustaja Austrevit. Thank you Mr. Austrevitius. The next speaker is from the Greens Rebecca Harms. You have two minutes. Ich möchte in dieser debatte Thank you. I would like to thank my colleagues Rosati, Ostrovicius and Gala for their contribution to this debate. We've met frequently over the last 12 months in Kiev and Brussels and we met representatives of Antrac and Transparency Internationality as well as a series of other members, Mr. Parubi and many others from the Fafnerada so as to take further steps towards fighting corruption in Ukraine. The decision to take up an anti-corruption court was an important one and was the result of very intensive cooperation between all of us with a view to ensuring a better future for Ukraine. In my view, that decision, that vote in the Verhofner Rada is a decision which we should welcome and indeed celebrate. If I had a bottle of champagne, I'd raise a glass to them now. I know that that decision won't solve everything, but I do know that that process of cooperation will continue. Mr. Dombrovsky's declaration and the commitments entered into as part of that reform, bringing in all EU ambassadors, the EU embassy and UKF, in Ukraine. So that commitment on their part to cooperate with Ukraine paves the way to a successful reform in the country. I don't think we can expect things to change overnight. This is likely to be a process which will take a generation to bear its fruits. And the money which has been freed up for this reform process is not actually that much when you compare it to how much is spent in other countries, including EU member states. And I think it will really help pave the way for change in Ukraine. Thank you. Kiitokset